many of the students I take have, have never seen a place like Race Rocks. Some of them have never even seen the ocean before. And their eyes are opened. And uh, it, it is truly incredible to, to see the responses that come. I mean, they're just in shock. Most of them are silent when they first arrive and they're just um, blown away. It's, it's pretty impressive. So my name is Laura Verheg. I've um, been teaching at Pearson College for 15 years. So teaching a course called Marine Science, uh, I, I designed the course to take advantage of as many marine ecosystems locally as possible. And the, the most pristine ecosystem, the best ecosystem that we can visit here is Race Rocks. Pearson College first got involved with Race Rocks uh, when we got it created as an ecological reserve. Uh, I became the ecological reserve warden at that time as a biology teacher and marine science teacher and diving instructor. And it was uh, from then on that we used the uh, reserve as one of our major uh, field trip locations. The lighthouse is, was built in 1860, so it's been there a long, long time. Our tours, particularly the tours on land but in, at sea as well, are pretty prescribed. We're very careful with where we go, how close we get, um, when we're going into certain, because there are more ecologically sensitive times during nesting and incubation of, for the marine birds, and there's different haul out times for marine mammals where we like to give them their space. And uh, one of the major challenges with getting out there is, um, is, is the weather the weather and the abiotic factors when we're looking at current and wind and um, it's just a challenging chunk of water and so there can be times when uh, when the weather dictates what we can do out there. We have kind of an integrated energy production facility out there where we have a solar array. Um, in the summertime our, uh, our solar array provides more than enough um, electrical input for our uses on the island. Environmentally, it's great logistically because it's quite difficult to get fuel for the diesel generators out there. It's, uh, it's intensive in terms of manpower and logistics. I am Guy Radu and uh, Eco Guardian in Race Rock for the summertime with Christine, my wife, and uh, we try to keep uh, everything clean to do some maintenance on the island, to clean the solar panel every morning. The weather in Race Rock is very uh, versatile weather. We, every morning by five o'clock, I wake up and I double check the weather, the speed, the direction, the visibility, the sea state, and by 5.15, I phoned to Peder Bay Marina to inform them about the weather in Race Rock. We are in a house with, uh, I don't know, eight to ten windows and we can see 360 degrees around uh, the ocean and uh, it's all the time something to see and something to uh, to take pictures because uh, someday we say no today we don't take pictures and 10 minutes later we say oh that is beautiful and we take uh, pictures and uh, we have a lot of animals uh, elephant seal right now the Californian are coming and uh, they start already a few days ago and this night they was just noisy they start and uh, I think on a small island, on the middle island, we have uh, already between 50 and 70 uh, Californian sea lions. And slowly they come to race rock in the night time to sleep and back to the water in the morning time. Once a week we have to try to... to to know how many birds or animals are on the island. And, and I tell you, uh, when you have around 600 girls, and when you are going to the lighthouse, because we do it from the top of the lighthouse, and we see, we say, oh my God, I have to count every one of those. And it's, it's a way, it's a little funny. But 
we have a kind of a little ad device to be able to to go fast and uh, we manage to to count the uh, animals around It's very interesting for us because we we go through the whole nesting season. When we arrive, they are just building the nest. They have two or three eggs by nest, and we see the whole process from the courting relationship between the, the the birds and to the point that the babies are able to fly. And it's so so. It's very very amazing the social life. It's around for months and months, and uh, it's uh, it's uh, it's an adventure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> From the point of view of students uh, and their involvement at Race Rocks. Uh, the thing that was most impressive to me was that they saw this as an area that uh, where students had been involved in setting it up as an ecological reserve. So there was an obvious example of, yes, you can make a difference if you really uh, put your mind to it and uh, do a bit of work. And then we always felt that we had a continuing role for stewardship, and the more that we could be there and document what was going on, uh, the better it would be for the long-term existence of the reserve. And when students can do that, they can re they realize that yeah, the college is responsible for the area, and uh, they have to pitch in and do their their best job that they can to keep it uh, the way it is.